start today and let me just get so I can see. Okay, so we're going to start with a mantra slash and a mudra too. Um, this one, some of you might be familiar with it. I think this is probably the first time I've taught it, uh, but it's one that I really like. It's called So Ham. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It, um, so two words, first word is so, S-O. Second word is H-U-M, but it's actually pronounced like ham, ham. And what it does is it represents a few things. But if you translate it in English, it translates to I am, that's the so, and the hum is that. So I am that. And if you take it a little bit further, what that means um, is we are all one. I am one with the universe. I am one with the divine. And it conjures up this, um, this idea that we're all connected. And I thought that was really appropriate for, for this time. Um, when we're all feeling a little disconnected, but it's just a, a lovely reminder, I thought. It also represents um, yin and yang. So the, that polarity of cooling and heating, the female, the male. So again, we've got this kind of um, union, right? Which is what yoga is all about. So we're gonna start in easy seat, and we're gonna start with a seated meditation. And, in our minds, we're going to repeat the so and the hum. And on the inhale is when we'll say so, and on the exhale is hum. Now, we'll, our mudra will be wisdom mudra. So take your hands, palms face up, and just rest them on your knees or your inner thighs, wherever you're comfortable. Take your thumb to your index finger, and then the other three fingers on each of your hands just kind of extend out so that they're long, but they're comfortable too. And then close your eyes and sit tall. And as you breathe in, think to yourself, so. And as you breathe out, hum. And that's all it is. It's just repeating so. Um, and if it's easier for you to have the English words, the I am on the inhale and the that on the exhale, you can choose to do that. Sometimes when we're using words that aren't in English and that we don't have, that we don't use often, it's a, an easier way to stay focused in our meditation. So do what works best for you, but just take the first few minutes here, breathing in so, and breathing out hum. Let's take three more rounds of breath. One more. Tuck your chin in just slightly. Start to flutter your eyes open. And come into tabletop. Very nice. And start to move through your cows and cats. And if you have time, so that Soha meditation is nice to do 
Um, even for longer periods of time, if you're somebody who enjoys meditation, or even if you don't really love to meditate and um, you have a hard time sticking with the meditation, that one is a nice one to really help anchor us into the moment. It's a common one that's suggested for beginners or if you're just really distracted, if you've got so much going on and you really need to focus. And even feeling here, as you breathe in for cow pose, repeating so, and as you exhale for cat, repeating hum. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Reach your right arm out to the right side and extend your right arm underneath your left armpits. And then your hips are lifted. So option here to kick your left leg out to the side, out to the left. Maybe it's just your left big toe pressing into the floor, or you can even take it down to the inside of your left foot, like your arch. Lean into your right shoulder a little bit. And come back up to tabletop. Just start in a neutral tabletop. Reach your left arm out towards the left and slide it under your right. Kick that right leg out towards the side. Press into your left shoulder. And return to your tabletop. Tuck your toes under, elevate your knees up off the mat. Just let them float here. Wake up your core a little bit. And we're just gonna move a little bit here with our knees hovering and our toes tucked. We're gonna take a couple steps forward. So you're like this crouching bear. Don't worry if you come off your mat. And then you're gonna come back a couple steps. So that's all it is. Just moving forward a couple steps and back a couple steps. And then come back to that starting point. Your knees are still hovering. Take a breath in. Down dog, breathe out. Pedal your knees. Take your feet together so that your arches are almost touching, your big toes are almost touching, but send your hips up as high as you can. Now drop your heels over to the right and your hips will drop. And coming through the center, drop them over to the left. Take a few more of those, getting into a nice side body stretch there. Hip, IT band. I feel it too in the outside of my low back. And return to downward facing dog. Pedal your knees out, take your feet up a bit wider like you would in a normal down dog. And then walk your feet up to your hands. Come to a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Ooh, let's do a couple more of those. Halfway lift, breathe in. My hamstrings are tight. And <laughs> forward fold, breathe out. One more time. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Good, just hang here in the rag doll. And take any variation of your ragdoll that you like. I'm going to grab my big toes with my peace fingers and really fold forward. Maybe you want to wrap your arms behind you or clasp your fingers at your low back. It's really up to you. But just really experience this fold here. A fold is really cooling and calming. It's the yin or the so, if we're talking so hum, this yin and so side. All right, release if you have a bind and then rise all the way up nice and slow though. Come all the way up to stand, reach your arms up for mountain, breathe in. Yes, you know, the heart center, breathe out. Keep your hands there, breathe in so. Exhale, hum. 
Press your palms up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, high plank. Right arm down, left arm up, side plank. And switch to the other side, left arm down. Bring that right arm up. Back to high plank. Lower down to chaturanga. Come up to an up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Walk your feet up to your hands or hop if you want. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up, inhale, so. Forward fold, hum. Halfway lift, inhale. High plank, exhale. Left arm up, side plank, breathe in. Back to high plank, breathe out. Right arm up, inhale. High plank, exhale. Fill up, chaturanga. Upward dog, down dog. One more of those, come up high on your toes. Bend into your knees, travel to your hands, halfway, and fold. Inhale, so for mountain. Exhale, hum as we fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, go right to your chaturanga. Upward dog, breathe it in. Downward dog, breathe it out. Good, lift your right leg up high, bend your knee, open your hip. So try to keep your right shoulder square towards your mat. Open up your hip though, but try and keep your right shoulder closed. Yeah. Circle your right ankle around. And then step forward to a low lunge, right into a prasarita. Drop your head down. For this prasarita, we're gonna take our left arm and reach it forward, palm faces down. Right arm back behind us, palm faces down also, but fingers face in the opposite direction. Drop your head. Switch your arms. Come back to the prostrator with your arms right down in the center of your mat. And then walk your hands to the back of your mat. You're being a low lunge with your left foot forward. Easy twist, left arm goes up. Come into a high plank. You're facing the back of the mat still. Take a side plank, left arm up, breathe in. Back to high plank, breathe out. Right arm up, side plank. High plank. Breath in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up high, bend your knee, open your hip. Draw that left shoulder so that it is square to your mat. But keep opening your left hip. Feel free to circle. And then step it forward, low lunge, right into prasarita. So back to the same place you were in the other prasarita. This time grab your ankles or your big toes, or you can leave your palms at the floor, whatever feels good for you here. Let's just get a deep fold. Release your hands to the floor. Come to a flat back, still in your prasarita though. Your feet are wide, your legs are wide. And bring your arms out to the side. Take your left arm down, right arm up for a twist. And then switch to the other side. Bring that left arm back down. Come into a low lunge. Your right foot is forward now. You're back to facing the front of your mat. Easy twist. Right arm up. 
Right arm down, fold at the top of your mat. Chair pose, breathe in. Stay here. Big breath in. Get just a little deeper. Another breath. Forward fold. Halfway. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing. Lift your right leg up. Step forward, warrior one. Inhale to come high. And then exhale to get deep. Think so as you reach your arms up. Hum as you get deeper. Breathe it in. Chaturanga, exhale out. Upward facing. Down dog. Left leg forward, warrior one. Breathe in, I am that. Inhale. Chaturanga, long exhale. Upward and downward. Right foot, warrior one. Exhale deep. Another breath. Chaturanga. Upward and downward. Left side, warrior one. Exhale out. Fill up. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward dog. Pedal your knees. Reach your right leg up high. Take that knee to your left elbow. Hold it there. Slide it to the right elbow. Hold it here. Plant your foot down. Warrior one. Inhale to come up. Warrior two. Exhale. Reverse. Chaturanga. Upward. Downward facing dog. Left leg high. Take your knee to your right elbow. Slide it to the left. Hold it. Plant warrior one. Exhale to two. Reverse. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing. Walk your hands back to your feet so you'll be at the back of your mat and come into chair pose. Draw your belly into your spine and rotate. We're going to an external rotation of our shoulders. So just by bringing your pinkies in towards each other, feel that rotation. Draw your left knee up and into your chest. Hold it here. Standing split, bring your hands to the floor, left leg high. Walk on out to three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Step forward, warrior one. Exhale to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe it out. You can keep your left leg lifted for this chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing. Walk your hands back to your feet. Chair pose, back of your mat. Draw your right knee up and into your chest. Very slow, take it to standing split. Take your time. Walk it on out, three-legged dog. Big step, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing. Take a breath, let it go. Do it again, breathe in, and breathe out. Shift forward to a high plank, lower down to chaturanga. Come back up to high plank. Downward facing dog, walk your hands back to your feet. Chair pose, back of your mat. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Left knee up and into your chest. Standing split. Three-legged dog. Step it forward, warrior one. Exhale to two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. We'll take any variation of this extended side angle that helps you to open up your upper body a little bit more. So that could be through a bind or it could be just coming up a little bit higher. Use your feet a little bit more now. And find your drishti. In fact, let's go ahead and take that uh, wisdom mudra with our right hand at least. Um, that's the thumb and the index finger and bring your eyes right to that spot. Right where your thumb and your index finger meet. If you're binding, you could still do it. You just won't be able to see it. That's okay. I'm going to take the mudra with my bottom arm too. Rise up for warrior two. Clasp your fingers at your low back. Take a breath in as you lift your heart and chest up, still feeling that um, upward lift. Humble warrior, take it slow. Bring your head down to the inside of your front foot. Listen for your breath here. And notice how it's easier to hear your breath when you're in a fold like this. And find that connection, that mind, body, and breath connection. That's what I am that is all about. Rotate your back foot, come into a low lunge, right on into an easy twist, left arm up. Side plank, just slide that left leg back behind you. Left arm is up this time. So lift your left leg. You're gonna bend your knee and step it forward in front of you. You might have to take a look at me because this is not something we do a lot. So that left foot is planted down, left knee is up. Drop your right hip towards the mat and then lift back up. Drop it down, lift back up. One more time, drop it down, lift back up. Three-legged dog, left leg goes back up high. Take your foot to the floor. Walk your hands back to your feet. Just stay here in a fold for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Chair pose, back of your mat. Draw your right knee up and in towards your chest. Flex your right toes. Standing split. Walk it out, three-legged dog. Warrior one. Open to two. Reverse. Extended side angle. Now let's take the mudra again, even if you're binding. Coming back into that place where our heart and our chest feel really open. And I'm gonna move my drishti this time because my neck is bothering me. So I'm actually going to take my drishti to the mudra on my right hand and look down. Take a breath in and a breath out. Rise up for warrior two. Clasp your fingers at your low back. Breathe in hard and chest lift with that little bit of a back bend. Humble warrior, take it down, nice and slow. Control 
the movement all the way down as you drop your head towards your neck. Feet are really grounded. Another um, idea that supports Soham is this idea of feeling supported and feeling grounded, either by humans around you, by nature, by the divine, whatever it is that helps remind you that you are supported and connected. Pivot your back foot, come into a low lunge. Did we do an easy twist here? I can't remember. Let's take it anyway, even if we didn't. And come into a side plank. I know we did that. Lift your right leg up, bend your knee, step it forward for this variation of side plank. Hips are high at first. Now drop the left hip towards your mat. Feel that nice stretch. You will lift it up. Then drop it down, lift it up, dip it down. One more set, lift and lower. Back up you go, three-legged dog. Keep the right leg high just for a moment. Downward facing dog, both feet at your mat. Pedal things out. We'll come into child's pose. Bring your knees down, toes together. Forehead to the floor. Relax your forearms and your elbows all the way down. And come into a forearm plank. So keeping those forearms connected to your mat. Hold it here, but bring your toes to touch. And just like we did at the beginning with our down dog, we're gonna drop the heels to the right and then over to the left. Over to the right and the left. Just keep going. We'll just stay here for a few breaths, not super long. Come back to your forearm plank. Walk your feet up towards your elbows or dolphin. And then see if you can come a little bit forward, even more forward with your toes. Keep your forearms glued to your mat. Let your eyes look forward. Your eyes are not looking back at your toes. They're looking forward towards your thumbs. Squeeze the middle of your back. Come back to forearm plank or dolphin plank. And bring your thighs down for sphinx pose. Ah, oh, this feels nice. And then come all the way down. Take your forehead to the mat. You can stack your palms one on top of the other if you would like. Bend your left knee, catch it with your left hand, or catch your left foot with your left hand, either your foot or your ankle, and then reach your right arm forward. You can keep your forehead down for right now. Take a breath in and a breath out. Just feel the quad stretch that you're getting right now. Now on our next inhale, we'll lift up for half bow. You can keep your right leg pressing down now. Right arm reaches forward, just lift the left thigh. Take an inhale and come down as you exhale. Straighten out the left leg and bend your right knee. Catch your right foot with your right hand. On an inhale, lift up for half bow on this side. Keep pressing your left leg down, down, down. And come all the way down. Good. Bend both of your knees and just um, release them from side to side. Then extend them nice and long. 
Send your arms back behind you for bound locust. So clasp your fingers together. Send your shoulders back. Your belly is still on the floor. Your thighs are still on the floor, but your shoulders are lifted away from your mat. Now lift your fingers away from your booty and inhale, lift everything up off the mat. Heart and chest lift. Eyes look forward. Breath is controlled. Another inhale. Exhale, come on down. Very nice. Let's press back into child's pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up high. Bend your knee, open your hip. Bring that knee across to your left elbow, to the right elbow. Low lunge. Rise up, crescent. Take a breath in and a breath out. One legged Tadasana. Draw the left knee up and in towards your chest. Let's add a twist here. So, right hand to the outside of that left knee and take your twist. Drop your left shoulder down your back. Look at your left thumb and come back to one legged Tadasana, right into Eagle Pose. Left leg wrapped around, left arm under. Draw your elbows up just a little bit higher and your hands away from your face. And feel your upper back opening here. Keep your eagle arms coming to standing split. Keep your eagle arms standing split. Fingers graze the mat. And then eventually unwind, drop your head. If you want to add a um, infinity, grab opposite ankle with opposite hand. Good. If you took infinity, release that. Keep your left leg lifted. And then scoot your right foot towards the center of the, the mat a little bit more if it isn't there already. And then we're going to bring the left knee behind the right knee and come all the way down to seated. So your right knee will be stacked on top of your left. But keep that right knee so that it's pointing up. And all we're going to do here is take a seated twist. Left arm goes up and twist towards the right. Take a counter twist. We're just twisting over to the left. and come back to the center. Uh, bring that right leg back behind you and come into downward facing dog. Settle your knees. Lift your left leg. Take your knee to your right elbow, to your left elbow. Low lunge, plant it down. Rise up for crescent. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Stay right here, breathe in. Exhale all the way out. Draw your belly into your spine. Tuck your pelvis under just a little bit more. Come up in the eagle pose. This time the right leg comes around. Right arm comes under. Don't worry, I'll get that when I get to that so I'll take this. I forgot it. <laughs> I'll get it in.
Very slowly come into your standing split, but keep your eagle arms. Take your fingers to the floor. Hold off the right hip. Drop your head. Option to go into infinity pose if you would like. Release your back foot if you went into infinity. Toe heel your foot, your left foot closer to the center of the mat. Lift your right leg up high. And then bring that right knee behind your left. Sit down at the mat. Left knee is bent over the right foot. Your left foot is pressing into the floor. Take your seated twist to the left. And try and sit as tall as you can here. Let's take a counter twist to the right. I like to twist, but also come down when I'm on this side. I don't like to do that on the other side. And rise back up. Come back into downward facing dogs. So slide the left leg back. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come into chair pose. Now elevate your right knee up off the mat. Straighten your left knee. So here we are in one-legged Tadasana. Keep looking forward for now. Take your left hand outside of your right knee. Right arm back behind you. I might be off camera at this point. I don't know. Take a look behind you as you twist to the right. Very nice. Come back to mountain pose. Breathe in as you look up. Forward fold. Breathe it out. Walk out to a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up high. Step to warrior two. Peaceful warrior. So straighten your front knee. Reverse your warrior. Triangle pose. I'm going to grab my block. You can always use your water bottle or a, a, um, a sturdy book, even a, does that sound like I said dirty book? I didn't say dirty book. <laughs> I said sturdy book. You can use a dirty book though if you want. <laughs> Try to continue to draw your right rib cage under and your left rib cage open up. So as your rib cage does that action, your hip will also do that action. Take it to pyramid. So rotate your back foot. I'm going to walk my back foot in pretty far forward, so both of my heels are down. It's up to you. If you want that back heel lifted a bit, if that feels better in your body, go ahead. But just try and straighten your knees as much as you can without locking them or hyperextending. Try and draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. If you have some sort of a prop, take your uh, left hand to it and walk it forward just a bit. And come into revolve half moon. So your right arm is up, your left leg is up, and you're twisting to the right. Bring your left foot down, stand at the top of your mat, breathe in. 
Hands to heart center, breathe out. Take your right leg and step it behind your left. So your legs are kind of crossed. Bring your right arm down by your side, left arm overhead for side body stretch. My runners, I know you're feeling this one. Very nice. Come back to the center. Uncross your legs. And step back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up high. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Triangle pose. Take it slow. Make sure you get the reach forward before you bring your hand down. Keeping your shoulders stacked one on top of the other. Open up that top hand. Spread your fingers apart. Breathe in so. Breathe out. Um. Breathe in so. Pyramid pose. Um. Relax your whole upper body. Feel this sense of surrender. Imagine like you're a, a drip of water and you're dripping into the ocean, connecting with the rest of the ocean, feeling a sense of oneness, support. Your right hand forward, revolved half bone, left arm up. Right leg lifts up as high as you can. And stand at the top of your mat. Reach your arms up high. Cross your left leg behind your right. This time, drop your left arm down, take a side stretch. Good. Come back to the center, uncross your legs, sit in your chair pose, take a big breath in. Twist to the right, breathe out. If you want to play in a side pro or any other variation you want to take here with open arms, or if your twist isn't really happening all that great, take an arm bar. So take your feet wider, take your left hand to the outside of your right leg, and open up that way. I'm going to add a bind here by dropping my right arm behind me. your way back to the center and take your twist to the left. I'm going to show the arm bar again on the side. And forward fold. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Shifting into gorilla by sliding your feet under your hands, under your feet. Drop your head. Option here to move a little bit, kind of like we did at the beginning of the practice when we were on all fours. See in your gorilla. Take a few steps forward and back. Take side to side. Just practicing 
shifting your lead a little bit. Anybody in the room watching you, they're laughing. That's okay, because that's what we're here to do, right? <laughs> Spread a little joy. And release your hands. Come into power chair. So your belly is right over your thigh. Your booty is way back behind you. Now, very slowly, take this down to Navasana. See if you can keep your arms lifted the whole time. I don't know how graceful my descent was, but either way, I'm here in Navasana. Stay here in your boat. And then very slowly come down to your back. Real slow though, real, real, real slow. Arms down by your side, lift your legs up towards the ceiling. Keep your feet, like the insides of your feet, your, your arches, keep them glued together, glued together so your legs are like one. And we're gonna do little circles. Doesn't matter which direction. If you'd like to point your toes, you can still do that and let the feet move together. Keep your low back pressing into the floor. And now switch directions. The circles are still little. Little, little, little. Good. All right, now start to make them bigger. Just keep going in that same direction you just were. Mm -hmm. Still controlled though. So if they get too big and they're losing control and your core, and bring it back in. Good, now get them even bigger. Keep them this big, but reverse the direction. Yes. Good, now start to slow, slowly make it a little bit smaller. Let your back eventually where you started. Very nice. All right, now very slowly lower your legs about 30% of the way. Hold it here. And then lower them another 30% of the way. So just past your halfway point. And another 30%. So you're just hovering above the mat. Lift your shoulders, look up at your toes, and start to flutter. Point your toes, flutter your feet. Good, if you want to, you can take your hands behind your head, cradle your head behind you, and then give yourself some space between your neck and your chin. Look up, you got it. If this hurts your low back, take your legs a little higher. Hold it, keep going, keep fluttering for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax your whole body down, draw your knee into your chest. Plant your feet into the floor. Let's take a bridge pose or wheel. You're ready. You can go up. Lift up on your inhale. And then slowly drop your hips to the floor. Shelf your, your legs so that your shins are parallel to your ceiling. Take your hands, press them into your thighs. Low belly, or belly button is in toward your spine. Low back is grounded down. Press your palms into your thighs. Press your thighs into your palms. You got it. You get the ability here to dial up or dial down the intensity. Flex your feet, spread your toes. Hold it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two, one. Feet to the floor, go right on up. Bridge or wheel. You two, lift up, squeeze your quad. And lower down. Shelf your knees again. Your, your um, shins, hands behind your head. Let's take bicycles. Think about getting that shoulder to the outside of your knee. 
So not so much your elbow, but more your shoulder. All right, let's speed this up. Gonna go double time for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Slow it way down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, come back to the center, lift your shoulder blades up as high as you can, hold it, hold it, hold it, this is it, this is the last big push for five, four, three, two, one, good job, try your knees into your chest, take one last bridge or wheel, lift up right now, go, 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 last ten, Last five. Suptavada Konasana. You can keep your feet on the floor in a traditional Suptavada, or if you want to lift them up, this is how I like it. It's a cross between Happy Baby and Suptavada. And you can even move into a happy baby if you would like. Rocking. That feels really nice on the low back to massage the sacral area. Let's take figure four, right ankle to left knee or thigh. Using your right elbow, press your right knee away. Flex your toes. And switch sides. Left ankle, right knee. Return to the center, draw your knees in. Supine twist to the left, eyes look to the right. Switch directions. Come back to the center, lay flat on your mat. Legs are just as wide as you feel most comfortable. Arms by your side. If you'd like to take your wisdom mudra, you could do that or just let your fingers relax. Palms can be up or down. Shavasana.
take a breath in and then exhale out. Circle out your ankles. And your wrists. And draw your knees into your chest. And roll over to your right side. We'll be in a fetal position. Remembering that this idea of being one with the universe and constantly supported offers feelings of safety and protection and unconditional support, no matter what is going on in your life. So when you're seeking support or love or protection, you always have this mantra to return to. So as you press up into an easy seat, exactly where we started practice, we're gonna take just under a minute to return to that so hum meditation. And if those words don't work for you, I am that, or even just inhaling and exhaling. Bring your hands together at your heart center. And draw your thumb knuckles up to your third eye center. The divine light and power in me sees and honors the divine light and power in each of you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today and for your unconditional love and support just by being here with me. As we bow forward, let's bid each other namaste.